out in the wild, and another might get discovered when Penn and Teller face this next magician. Shadows have always fascinated me. They are a powerful metaphor for fear and the unknown. I perform this act in places where I do not speak the language. It doesn't matter where. Somehow they understand. I try to create magic all the time, writing tricks in my journals every day. Soon I will be publishing a book about magic. I cannot think of anything I would rather do with my life. I saw Penn and Teller for the first time, performing live on my birthday. Exactly 10 years later, on my birthday, I get to perform for them. It is the greatest gift I could ever ask for. Pen, Teller, this trick is my gift to you. Put your hands together for the magic of Gonzalo Albignana. There is a shadow, a shadow that's been following me since I was a kid, a shadow that lives inside of all of us. Some say that this shadow is fear. I don't know. When we face our fears, they lose some of their power. They attack us when we are alone. But tonight we are not alone. Tonight you're here with me. Thank you, please come on and join me. Thank you very much, I appreciate it, thanks. Let's imagine that fear is a cage. This one, for example. <laughs> they say that if you want to help somebody with fear, all that you need to do is to offer your hand. Yeah, great. I'm gonna ask you to put your hands together like that and one in front, great. If you try to hide it, it makes no difference. It makes no sense. We know it's there, right? I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to breathe, to think on your fear, think on your habit, let it slow. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to leave you alone with the fear, but please, don't worry, don't, don't move, don't do anything. Just think on your fear and breathe. I'm gonna do the same thing as you do. We're gonna count to three and separate our hands. One, two, three. That's it, yeah. Amazing, thank you, thank you, you're free. You're free, you're, there is no longer any fear, you know? It's, it's incredible, I, I wish. I wish it is that easy. I wish it is that easy to make the fear goes away, but you know, fear is a stubborn and it comes back to hit you in the chest, to take your breath away. Living with fear is like living with a plastic bag over your head. It's a terrible feeling. Fear stops you from seeing the world clearly. Fear isolates you. Fear suffocates you. If you ever feel trapped like that, do what my father told me. Just stand up and take a deep breath. a moment when the fear goes away you can feel it you can hear it you know it's it's gone it's no longer there you're you're free you're free to live your life you're free to leave it behind you're you're free I'm free 
and I can feel it, you know, and it, if it ever comes back, you know, if it, I, I, it, it, it all comes rushing back. The fear, the doubt, the panic surrounded me like it never left. And you know, I'm tired. I'm tired of living with fear. I'm tired of having it with me all the time. I'm tired of its weight. But I can't make it go away. I can't make it go away. So please, make it go away. I don't want to see it anymore. Thank you. Has magic helped you deal with fears in your life? Yeah, all the time. Actually, the only way that I know how to confront fear is to make it into a magic piece. So, yeah. Can you share with us a little bit of your process and how you conceptualize the idea? Of this act? Yeah. This effect is a very old effect in magic. It's something that has been a little bit lost in history. So I started as a kid performing it, and then I was realizing that it was something more for me to say with it than only the, the magic. And Taylor was uh, the huge inspiration uh, for me uh, with, with his shadow act. So I this to trick that. was actually inspired by Teller? In a way, yes. In a way, yes. kind of all of my magic at this moment. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, Gonzalo, it is time now to see if you fooled Penn and Teller. Oh, Gonzalo, you've taken this to a level of theater where you really held the entire audience's hearts in your hand and really made it mean something so profound that we really want to leave the audience with that. The important thing is what happened in the audience's minds and what you created up there, which was so, so beautiful. And you did that by using a prop that you made mean something. You made it mean fear. You made it mean more than just jail cell, more than that. And I'm going to avoid saying what that object was to Blackstone and Billy McComb because once I say the word that the other people did with it, it becomes silly. And it'd be unfair to the audience to take that image away and make it something else that's essentially light and silly. I hope that just saying Blackstone and Billy McComb uh, tells you that the silly version we know, and even if you were using the silly prop, you did it better. So on every level, it was just fabulous. And I'm avoiding saying anything because I want the audience to stay with that beautiful theatrical feeling that you created and then say for our silly show that we don't think you fooled us. So Gonzalo, it sounds like Penn and Teller know the secret to your magic. Sounds like that, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> they let's are the give greatest. them a really warm, happy birthday round of applause, everyone. You're amazing.